no microwave needed, no fridge needed if your thing is cold or and it keeps frozen items cold. In this video, we're going to go and take a look at these containers and see if they actually hold the heat. Well, we have a little thermometer gun, so we're actually going to measure the heat before it goes in and then after. It's about four and a half hours. Let's see how those hold up. Today, I'm opening up this Pinnacle Thermal Container 3P set. I want to try it on my chili chicken that I just made. It comes in three different colors, blue, lime blue, purple, and red. It's made out of polyurethane, it's quite a sturdy material, so if you happen to drop this, don't dent. Well, polyurethane is used in vehicles on bumpers. So the front bumper, when you hit a curb, for example, it just kind of bounces off. It doesn't actually dent unless you really, really hit it. That's the same material that's on these. No dent. Great for camping or picnics. So we'll keep the insulation um, either hot or cold for up to six hours. So the size would be 2.5 liters, 1.2 liters, and 600 pounds. Okay, so here we're going to maybe put some rice or my chili chicken that I just made. Salad. Have a dessert that you want to keep warm or cold will be nice in here. So we're going to test this out now. I'm going to put some I think I'll use the chicken with a small one. Um, this is not meat proof though so when you have your food in there make sure it's not cold. Right here. And we're going to see if this melts. Right? So now we lock it. There is no lock lock mechanism. All you do is it's just a very simple twist but you can see it won't come off accidentally. Uh, we have a little thermometer gun, so we're actually going to measure the heat before it goes in and then after. Cover it up. So the rice is 64.3. Wait. All right, surface temperature. 69. Okay, so let's go and grab some ice. And we're just going to dump a bunch of cubes into here. And we're just going to see if this melts. All right. So now we lock it. There is no lock lock mechanism. All you do is it's just a very simple twist, but you can see it won't come off accidentally. It's been more than about four and a half hours. Um, I'm going to check the temperature of the food. So this is the chicken. I'm opening it up. So this was 60 something. 59.2. But pretty, pretty good. Because we didn't even temper it. And the rice. And this was also a 60 something. So yeah. the rice is 46.5. Let's try one more time. 47. So I think like the wet food probably stays hot much longer. Than the, but it's still warm. Is it's it warm still, to the touch? Slightly. It's it's still warm. So like the food is, if it's really hot, it's like fine to eat it. Well, like this one's like, you can feel the heat. You can eat it like this temperature. Yeah. We well, we picked, well we, yeah, we picked it up at 67. Now it's at 59, so that's yeah, pretty good. But you can see the longer you leave it out, the yeah. quicker it loses the heat because it's no longer on the stove. So you definitely want to make sure that you open it and then close it if you want to maintain the heat. I didn't expect it to be this hot, so it's definitely great for like packing lunch or something in the morning and then it's good for um, lunchtime or even a few hours later. It's really good. It's hot, ready to eat. No microwave needed, no fridge needed if your thing is cold or it keeps frozen items cold. Okay, let's take a look at the ice. So we had our ice cubes in here. It's about four and a half hours. Let's see how those held up. So the ice cubes are still in. Uh, only lost uh, some water, honestly. So I would say it lost about 25% water of ice. That's pretty decent. That's almost as cool as my ice. Um, cooler. Some things that I don't like is the fact that they're not stackable, right? So it's kind of tricky to put them all on top of each other in the fridge. I wish this was kind of inverted. There you have it. These are the Pinnacle Thermal Containers. It's a three piece. Looks good. Thanks for watching. Some things that I don't like is the fact that they're not stackable, right? 
so it's kind of tricky to put them all on top of each other in the fridge. I wish this was kind of inverted. Looks good. Couldn't be happier. Thanks for watching.